Hey guys, this is Diana Ballard and welcome to the Mom Training Podcast where we discuss the skills and strategies to create possibilities in motherhood and make it more fun, efficient, organized, and peaceful. You can find more information or connect with me online at dianaballard.com or at Diana Ballard Live on social media. All right, ladies, how good are we at receiving help? Like, like seriously, think about it. You're like, oh, I can, my husband helps me with the dishes sometimes. You know, my mom will come and help me. But what about when you're like kind of sucking at something? <laughs> like how easy is it for us to ask for help when we really need it? Like there are times in our lives when we feel on top of our game, when things are flowing really well, when routine is going good or just you're happy and you're not, you know, it's, it's very easy going, you know, and maybe we don't need as much help, but there are some seasons in life where the best way to get through them is with utilizing help. So I recently just hired a nanny one day a week for eight hours. And it's been really interesting because, you know, I just had a new baby. I've upped my hours of time that I'm working. You know, I have a couple big responsibilities in our church that I'm in. And, you know, my husband's working full time and now taking more classes. And it's just been crazy. And so it's also crazy for me to expect myself to be like back on complete flow, right? We have an extra person that has joined the family and all these extra things. So luckily I have been pretty flow. I have not been too worried about it. I've had a lot of grace with things. Okay, we're just getting in this routine. Like it's totally fine. So, but what I want to talk about today is our reactions when we need help to something. Like how do we respond when we need help? So when I hired this nanny, I said, okay, like, you're going to be helping me with some other things too. Like I need help with dishes sometimes, you know, maybe some, you know, light stuff. Like maybe can you help fold this, you know, basket of laundry? And I have noticed in myself that I'm wanting to be back up on top of my game. And so when things are left that she needs to do, it's been making me feel like, I don't know, like kind of not ashamed, I would say, but like, I don't like it. (laughs) And, you know, now that I think about it, it's kind of caring what she thinks. You know, I don't want her to judge me that like I'm a slob or, (laughs) you know, that I can't do things or that I'm lazy. I'm like, no, girl, I'm working like my tail off all the time. The reason that there's dishes in the sink is because I was up late doing something else or was up late with a kid or, you know, last night I had somebody over and I was talking to them about something like, and so I noticed today when she came that there were a couple things that I did that I noticed, man, I am having a hard time receiving help. So for example, I, you know, had laundry for her to fold And I was like, I, so this is only half the laundry. Like I already did half. And her response was great job. That's awesome. (laughs) I was like, oh, (laughs) you know, and then going over to the dishes, I did all these dishes right here. See it, you know, next to the sink. Cause we don't have a dishwasher. See, I did all these. Great. That's awesome. Okay, cool. (laughs) You know, it's, I, I swear I do things around the house. And the thing is, I'm just trying to prove to myself that I am not a failure. I'm trying to prove to myself that I am not letting things fall short. But the reality is, is that there is a reason why I need help. And the only way for me to succeed is by asking for help and receiving help, asking my husband every once in a while, hey, I really need help with this. Can you watch the kids here? Can you help me clean this up here? Help me fold the laundry. Help me do things. You know, with this nanny, look, I really need your help. That's why you're here. I want you, like, please keep my kids safe, but also can you please help me with these little tiny things? Like, I don't have her deep clean my house. It's like little things can help them clean up the kids' room. Can you maybe vacuum today because it's like a mess? Like, little things like that. So I want you to ask yourself, what am I resisting help for? And do I receive it with gratitude 
Or do I receive it of like a little bit of like shame connected to it? Do I feel bad when I'm receiving help? Does it make me feel any less of a person when I'm receiving help? And then who can I help succeed? Now, it could be a new mom that maybe could use meals for the next couple weeks, like once a week or something. Could be babysitting someone's kids, helping with some type of project or, you know, asking how you can assist in different areas. But when we help other people, it not only you know, helps create that support system that we all need and friendships that we all need, but it also can teach us a little bit about ourselves. So when someone offers to help you, don't fight it, receive it. There are ways to reciprocate. There are ways to, you know, show gratitude. Like maybe you can't reciprocate the same thing that someone offered you at that moment. Someone came over and did your dishes. Someone came over and helped you with your kids while you finished something around the house. You know, it's the little tiny things that people can do to help us that really make the connection with people. And, you know, maybe us in return can be like a plate of goodies and a card. It can be a sincere thank you, you know, as they leave the door. Like it, it can, we can reciprocate in different ways instead of always doing the same thing. And I think that that is where people sometimes get stuck is they think, oh, if someone helps me, then I have to help them just as much on the other hand. Or, you know, I don't have time to reciprocate the same thing. Like they watched my kids for five hours. Like I don't have five hours I can watch their kids. And I don't even know if emotionally or mentally I can watch somebody's kids for five hours, right? But there are other ways that we can reciprocate that gratitude for people helping us and if you have the means emotionally mentally physically whatever to reciprocate what someone you know gave to you whether it be their time the resources or whatever then do it but just because you might not in that moment be able to completely fully return that favor doesn't mean that we need to push it away so as you're going through your day and your week and the month and someone offers to help you, receive it with a smile and let it happen. And if you notice that there are areas in your life that you are struggling with and it would be, you know, it, just even like a couple hours to yourself would really fix something. Don't be afraid to reach out. Don't be afraid to say, hey, would you mind helping me with this? Would you mind, you know, can we trade this? Can we trade time? Can we trade babysitting? Can, you know, I really need help with this specific thing. Don't be afraid to reach out. And don't be ashamed to need help. Because as I've been studying people, the most successful people that I've studied have lots of help. They have their personal assistants. They have like you know, house cleaners and nannies and, you know, employees and like they don't do it themselves. Now, maybe we're not at that level, right? We're like, uh, I would love to hire like, uh, you know, a house cleaner to come and clean my house every week. But the point is where we're at right now, it is okay to need some help to search out resources, to talk to friends and family and to Ask for little bits of help. And if you've listened to the podcast before, we talk about how, you know, I have always hired someone like for two to three hours a week to help me with meal planning. And the way that I pay for that is because we're on such a strict budget and the meal plans are like on tea. So we try to use everything and we've gotten the budget down so low that that extra money, that's how I pay for them each week. So I invite you to use your beautiful creative mind to think, what do I need help with? And how can I receive some help? And then working on the piece of you that fights that. It is okay to ask for help. It doesn't make you any less of a person to ask for help. So I wanna give you a challenge this week to think about that thing that you need help with and maybe someone else who might need help and see about trading or see about how to figure out a way 
that you can receive some help and maybe give some help to somebody else. Because if we all help each other in little tiny ways, life will be so much better for everybody involved. You're worth it if you need help or not. And in my belief, everybody needs help. (laughs) But if you don't think you need help, that's okay too. Totally fine. Keep rocking it, baby mama. And you got this. And if you have just another second after this podcast is over, please go over to your social media, get on a mom group, get on your own social media, and share this podcast with some other moms. If you have another favorite episode, go ahead and share that one too. Share these episodes and let's reach some other mamas in need. You guys are awesome. You guys rock. And I'll see you next week on the Mom Training Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning into the Mom Training Podcast. If you liked what you heard, I would so appreciate a rating and review from you on any platform you listen to this on. If you have any questions or podcast ideas, you can message me on my social media at Diana Ballard Live or shoot me an email on my website. See you next week.